I'm Bridget Cook, co-founder and executive director of Adelante Mujeres, where we are on a mission to build a just society by empowering Latinas to lead. This farm in Oregon is where I live, along with my husband, Frank, and our cat, Saya. It's also where I grew up. Our family didn't have money to travel, but my father brought the world to us. He picked up hitchhikers and let them stay with us. My parents' support for them was one way to help them sort of get back on their feet. I grew up seeing good-hearted people like my father making the world a better place in their own small ways. But as a young child, I also saw the bad and my world was turned upside down. When I was six and seven years old, I was sexually abused by a trusted neighbor of our family. I kept this secret until I was in my early 20s. Was I the person that the abuser told me that I was or was I uh, somebody else, somebody who was good and loving and caring? I think the story that I told myself for 17, 18 years was that I was a really bad person. What really fires me up is when I feel that people are, are not given the opportunity to be who they are really made to be. That's what I want to work against. And how I do it, that was a journey I was ready to embark on. So I moved to California and got involved with something that would open my eyes to an entirely new world, the sanctuary movement. Nearly one million refugees were fleeing the civil wars in Guatemala and El Salvador, and we were fighting against U.S. immigration policies that made it difficult for them to get asylum. Determined at that point that as soon as I graduated, I wanted to live in Latin America. I had fallen in love with the people, the culture, the vibrancy. It became home for me. I was living in Chile, where I began working with Latina women. What stood out to me about the women was how isolated they were, including a woman named Fresia. She spent her days picking the local crops, trying to keep her family afloat. She had never participated in anything, but she had such depth of spirit, and she had such big hopes for her children. The isolation that I saw within Fresia was a feeling I grew up knowing all too well myself. We grew up thousands of miles apart from each other, but we both knew what loneliness felt like. Fresia would soon become a lifelong friend, and I promised myself I would help her find the healing that I was lucky enough to receive over the years. So I got her involved with our women's support group and for the first time she became part of a community. We gave the women opportunities to share and learn from one another. Fresia's life began to change. Empowerment changed everything for Fresia and the other women there. But as time went by in Chile, I knew I couldn't stay forever. My parents were aging, so decided to come back to the United States. I was living in Oregon, but my heart was in Latin America. There was too much left to do. I started working at Centro Cultural, a nonprofit in Oregon, and that's where I met Sister Barbara Raymond. She was the director of education at Centro, and she really cared about helping women. Latina women were often never seen. They were in their homes. They didn't have a sense of their voice counting or even having a voice. It just was a certain kind of being without power. It was the same sense of powerlessness I had seen in the women in Latin America. 
But in the U.S., it wasn't just barriers of poverty and sexism. Here, Latina women also faced racism and a language barrier, which put Latina immigrant women at the far end of the privilege spectrum. Generations of inequality had silenced the Latina voice. So together with Sister Barbara, we started a women's support group by asking the women what they really wanted. And what they wanted was education. And so they wanted to, to move toward GED. They want to be able to speak English. No one else was doing this work. And so together, Bridget and the women and I built a curriculum. We decided with the women to call this project Adelante Mujeres, which translates to Women Rise Up. A lot of the uh, work of Adelante Mujeres at the beginning was just giving women a sense that their desires and their hopes and their dreams and their abilities had value. That sense that they deserved this opportunity because that's what had been missing. Within these beautiful human beings was the ability to organize things and get up in front of groups and speak. It was an amazing thing to see them grow. As the Adelante Mujeres program began to grow within Centro, we decided it was time for it to become its own organization. Our first supporters launched us forward and got us off the ground. Thank you! Gracias! Gracias. We would provide holistic support to the women. We would listen to the women and let them guide us. We've built a team of strong leaders, many of them once participants themselves, who have lived the experience of the people we serve. 89% of our staff identify as Latinx. As support for Adelante Mujeres grew, so did our programs. What started with education classes for women soon grew into entrepreneurial opportunities, sustainable agriculture classes, and support for the entire family. Now, immigrant Latina women are starting their own small businesses. Con el pequeño negocio que he podido lograr, eh, ha unido más a la familia. Their daughters in our Chicas program are graduating from high school, enrolling in college, and pursuing glass ceiling shattering careers. I started at the very bottom. My grades currently are straight A's, which I'm proud to say. <laughs> Every woman has a right to be who she is. The capacity to discover who you are, I think that's the gift that Adelante gives. Sometimes there are people who want to do good in communities and end up doing more harm than good because they haven't first done the internal work of healing that really allows for that deep listening. And so what makes Bridget so unique as a leader is that she had a journey that she had to go on that really did help her heal and learn how to open herself up and listen to what people were saying that they needed. What freed me was being able to reinterpret who I was, who I am, and that was only possible because I had caring and loving people around me who accepted me for who I am and who encouraged me to be who I am. I see every day how empowerment can change a woman's life. Because of supporters like you, last year Adelante Mujeres served over 8,000 people, including more than 600 girls in the Chicas program, with a 100% high school graduation rate, and 38 people from underrepresented communities who completed the new Civic Leaders Training. They are our future city councilors, senators, neighbors, entrepreneurs, strong mothers, and activists. But we can't stop there. We are at a pivotal time in history. Latino women face daunting challenges. Their futures are at stake. But we will not back down. Instead, we will rise up. We know how to fight for a bright future for every woman. We fight injustice with Latina leadership. Women who know that the community we are working to create is not us versus them. Our goal is to provide the deep healing that will ensure that the leaders that we have are not just focused on power. 
The kind of leaders that we're building here at Adelante Mujeres are people who care about everyone, people who want to see everyone succeed. We're all on the same side. We have to be. Right now in Oregon, there are more Latino women than ever before rising to this occasion, wanting to be leaders. And they are looking to Adelante Mujeres to help them do it. But we can't meet this growing need without your help. This is why we are introducing La Lucha, a generous group of donors who support our work month after month fighting alongside us for a more just society. The average cost of one person going through our programs for one month is $100. Some of you will give more and some will give less, but together our monthly contributions will expand this impact. Join La Lucha today, where we fight economic disparity with education and enterprise, where we fight oppression by building leaders, and where we fight hate with healing. We won't stop fighting until every woman has the opportunity to reach her full potential. Únete a nosotros at adelantemujeres.org.